And now we're gonna talk about petrography. Petrography. What is petrography? Petrography is a branch of petrology dealing with the description and classification of rocks, especially by microscopic examination and focuses on detailed descriptions of rocks. Someone who studies petrography is called a petrographer. How petrography works The mineral content and textural relationships within the rock are described in detail. The, the classification of rocks is based on the information acquired during the petrographic analysis. So now what is petrographic analysis? Petrographic analysis allows also the identification and quantification of minerals of inherited weathering on the stone blocks of low quality. So here is the different methods of in this investigation. <clears throat> the first is my macroscopic characters. The mas macroscopic characters of rocks, those visible in hand specimens without the aid of the microscope, are very varied and difficult to describe accurately and fully. The geologist in the field depends principally on them and on a few rough chemical and physical tests. And to the practical engineer, architect, and quarry master, they are all important, although frequently insufficient in themselves to determine the true nature of a rock. They usually serve for a preliminary classification and often give all the information. With a small bottle of acid to test for a carbonate of lime, a knife to ascertain the hardness of rocks and minerals, and a pocket lens to magnify their structure, the field geologist is rarely at a loss to what a rock belongs. So the next one is microscopic characteristics. When dealing with unfamiliar types or with rocks so fine grained, that their component minerals can be determined with the aid of a hand lens, a microscope is used. Characteristics observed under the microscope include color, color variation under plane polarized light, fracture characteristics of the grains, refractive index and optical symmetry. In total, these characteristics are sufficient to identify the mineral and often to quite tightly estimate its major element composition. The process of identifying minerals under the microscope is very subtle, but also mechanistic. It would be possible to de develop an identification key that would allow a computer to do it. The more difficult and skillful part of optical photography is identifying the interrelationships between grains and relating them to features seen in hand specimen, at outcrop or in mapping. And the third one is separation of components. Based from the word itself, separation, separation of the ingredients of a crushed rock powder to obtain pure samples for analysis is a common approach. It may be performed with a powerful adjustable string And the fourth one is chemical analysis. In addition to naked eye and microscopic investigation, chemical research methods are of great practical importance to the petrographer. Crush and separated powders obtained by the processes above may be analyzed to determine chemical composition of minerals in the rock qualitatively or quantitatively. Chemical testing and microscopic examination of mini grains is an elegant and valuable means of discriminating between mineral components of fine grain rocks. A chemical analysis is usually sufficient to indicate whether a rock is igneous or sedimentary, and in either case, to accurately show that what subdivision of these classes belongs to. In the case of metamorphic rocks, it often establishes whether the original mass was a sediment or of volcanic origin. 
and the last one is specific gravity. The specific gravity of rocks is determined by use of a balance and technometer. It is greatest in rocks containing the most magnesia, iron, and heavy metal, while least in rocks rich, rich in alkali, silica, and water. It diminishes with weathering. Generally, the specific gravity of rocks with the same chemical composition is higher if highly crystalline and lower if wholly or partly neutral. The specific gravity of more common rocks ranges from about 2.5 to 3.5. And that's all. Thank you for.